If you have an old MacBook and you want to use the latest version of Mac OS on your MacBook, then watch this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install newer Mac OS versions on older Macs. So here, as you see, I have MacBook Pro mid-2015 and I'm using Mac OS Sonoma and it works perfectly. As you all know that the latest supported version for MacBook Pro mid-2015 is Mac OS Monitory. But here I have Mac OS Sonoma and it works perfectly without any lags or issues. You can install any newer version of macOS with ease and in very simple steps. So in this video I will show you step by step how to install newer macOS versions on older MacBook. This is the easiest way and the easiest tutorial you will find on YouTube. So let's get started. The first thing you will do is go ahead and download two files. First you need to download OpenCore Patcher and then download install assistant of the macOS version you want to install. Here as you see I have three versions of Mac OS, I have Mac OS Sequoia, Sonoma, and Ventura. Actually, you just need to download the version you want to install. For this video, I will install Mac OS Sonoma. So let's go ahead and start the process. First, install OpenCore Patcher. This is very important. If you don't know what this does, it's a tool that enables you to install newer versions of Mac OS on older Macs that Apple no longer supports by patching missing driver support into the OS at boot time using the OpenCore bootloader. Okay. Okay, click continue on install location here make sure to install it on the version you use okay i'm using mac os monitory so i will install it on it type your mac password and hit install wait for the installation to finish okay the installation was successful click close now go ahead and open open core patcher this is the main interface. I will quickly explain these options and what to do. With build and install open core option, this prepares provide drive to be able to boot unsupported Mac OS version. With create Mac OS installer option, you can download and flush a Mac OS installer for your system. And with post and store root patch option, this will install hardware drivers and patches for your system after installing a new version of Mac OS. Okay, go ahead and click build and install open core option. It will install install the necessary files. Here click install to disk. Now you should see your hard drive, click on it. Now here guys, make sure to install it on this volume which called EFI. If you don't see this volume, don't install it. Okay, the files has been installed. Now go ahead and reboot your Mac. I will reboot my Mac. Okay, once you hear the start up sound, press and hold option button. Once you see this, go ahead and open EFI boot option. Okay, here open your Mac version. I will open monitory again. Okay, now go ahead and open disk utility. Now here in disk utility, go to the internal disk. If you don't see the volumes, just click on this button here and click show all devices. So here as you see, I'm using macOS Mojave and monitory. Go to container disk here, right click. Now here click add APFS volume. Here type the name you want, just type the name of the version you want to install. Since I'm going to install macOS Sonoma, so I will type Sonoma. In the format here, make sure it's APFS. Now click add. Okay, operation successful. As you see, now here we have the volume. This is where we are going to install the newer macOS version. Now go ahead and open install assistant.pkg file. Okay, click continue. Here make sure to install it on the version you are using. Don't install it on the new volume that we created. Click continue, install, type your Mac password and hit install. Okay, installed successfully. Go to the launch pad and open install Mac OS Sonoma or whatever you are installing. Click continue. Agree. Now here the important step. Click show all disks. Now here install it on the new volume that you created. This is it. Click continue. Continue. Type your Mac password and hit unlock. Now just wait for the installation to finish. It will take about one hour. I will skip this. Okay, the installation has been successfully done. Go ahead and click restart. Okay, again, once you hear the start up sound, press and hold option button. And as you see here, guys, now we have Mac OS Sonoma, but we are not going to open it from here. We will open it from EFI option. So go ahead and click on EFI boot. All right, as you can see, here we have Sonoma. We will open it from here so we can complete the setup. Okay, now just Go ahead and complete the setup so we can go to the last step. I will speed up the video.
Okay, as you see, now I'm on Mac OS Sonoma, but it's not completed yet. As we have lags and many issues, this is because we don't have the drivers. So now the last step is the most important step. Now what you need to do is just install Open Core Patcher on Sonoma. So I will install it now. Okay, it's now installed. I will open it. Go ahead and click build and install open core. Okay, done. Now what you need to do is click on post install root patch. This will install hardware drivers and patches for our system so it can work without any lags or issues. As you see, it will show you all the drivers that you need to install. Click start root patching. It will download the necessary patches, so just wait for it. In case the download fails from here, then I recommend you to download it from GitHub and manually install it. To do that, just Google this KDK build 23H4. To seven. You may see a different number depending on the version you are installing, so make sure to download the right one. I've downloaded it, so I will install it. Okay, once installed, restart your Mac. Now go ahead and open Core Patcher. Go ahead and click Install, Post, Install Root Patch. Okay, now it will start patching our Mac. Just wait. Okay, once done, just restart your Mac and congratulations. Now you have newer Mac OS version on your older Mac. As you can see, Mac OS Sonoma on MacBook Pro 2015. So guys, after installing the patcher and drivers, now it works without any issues or lags. You can install any newer version you want. Just make sure it works with your MacBook. Alright guys, so this is how to install newer Mac OS version on older Macs. It's pretty easy and simple to install. You can install them on new volumes so you can keep your main volume safe if you want to install another version of mac os make sure to install it on a new volume this is what i recommend of course you will find the download links below this video so guys this is our video for today and as always if you enjoyed watching this video give it a like hit the subscribe button for more videos and peace